I don't know where you find this many farmers of color, uh, but they did. Steven Crowder gets major backlash for segment against reparations for black farmers. That's the title of a video by Black Conservative Perspective, which I watched, in which he was talking about a segment that Steven Crowder cat. Uh, recently did, in which he was uh, decrying the Biden administration's efforts to assure that black farmers were getting funding. Now, I don't know the full details of, of that policy, so I don't necessarily want to speak about the good or ill of the policy, but it is coming from the left, the quote-unquote left, which I really hate that they call themselves the left because... I, I, I viewed the left historically, whatever you feel about their prescriptions, they have been historically consistently in, in, in alleged, uh, championing of the, the rights and abilities of, of we poors to have as much opportunity to define ourselves and make ourselves as the rich, but they've abandoned that and, well, I mean, there are people who are still members of an actual left, not what you call today. What you call, what you look at right now, the le the quote unquote left of today has far more in common with the right of yesterday than it does of of the left of yesterday, because their focus is 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 taken completely off the issue of of the disparity between classes, and it's totally focused on on sex and gender and and race and sexual orientation or sex and gender and rap out i got all that covered <laughs> and and then some so uh, they don't really have much credibility t with with me in general as far as even calling themselves members of the quote unquote left because they're 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 far more far right in their in their world views than 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 the the traditional left has been so they use racism the charge of racism as a political weapon of war against anyone who falls outside of their very particular policies. If you're against abortion, you're racist. If you're against uh, tax, ta taxing the rich, you're racist. If you're, if you're against a, a children being transitioned from one gender to another, you're racist. So racist is just a charge that they use, except that the reason that it's effective as a charge is because racism is real. And I believe that Stephen Crowder's segment is a case in point. And how the conservatives have reacted to the segment and to the, to the charge by the quote-unquote left that this was a racist statement, well... I'll just say that the conservatives aren't doing themselves any favor. I don't know where you find this many farmers of color, uh, but they did. Steven Crowder does a segment in which he says, I don't know where you find this many farmers of color. That's just one part of it. I don't know where you find this many farmers of color. This is... And he's saying this in response to this Biden policy that's going to find out. I don't know how many how many farmers they say that they want to try to find. And and his response is, I don't buy pardon me, not, I don't I don't know where you find this many farmers of color. And you look at this picture here and you've got. This is this is who 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 Crowder is 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 showing as this is these these are the quote unquote black farmers. And it's ridiculous. It's a it's it's American Gothic with faces. Well, one one of them is covered up, but I I guess I guess black people are. I don't I don't even know what this is supposed to say. I mean, this image is to me this is a racist image, and black conservative perspective. His thoughts are basically that Stephen Crowder is a comedian, and uh, he doesn't really want his comedy to be. Well, to be checked, I guess. I don't know where you find this many farmers of color, uh, but they did. Uh, I mean, it's it's racial stereotyping, and that's partly what comedy is. But he he does say because Stephen Crowder calls himself a comedian that he doesn't take his political commentary very seriously. 
Now, I don't really buy into the whole comedian cover here. Not not in Steven Crowder's case. I mean, there's some people that are literally doing skits. They're doing, and I know he does skits too, but for the most part, when he says he's a comedian, he is giving political opinion for most of his show. For most of his show, it's about political opinion. So whatever he says he is, he says he's a comedian. Are we supposed to believe that that he's all of it is just a role, is just an act? If so, why is anybody watching this guy? And 5.2 billion are being allocated exclusively for colored farmers. Farmers of color. Why is everybody, anybody, and and you know, uh, in, in, in his defense, black conservative perspective guy says, I don't take his political commentary very, very seriously because he says he's a comedian. But he literally says, I don't know where you find this many farmers of color. Sorry, folks. Conservatives. Just because people use the charge of racism as a political weapon of war. That doesn't mean that you don't have the capacity to recognize racism. I'm most happy about the new policy, these people. So, yeah. I'm going to oh. buy a plow, man. I'm going to plant that corn. I'm going to get a John Deere. But Barack Obama, mother, I'm the president of plowing that air. And to call out actual racism. I'm going oh. to buy a plow, man. I'm going to plant that corn. I'm going to get a John Deere. But Barack Obama, mother, I'm the president of plowing that air. Like, misogyny is a real thing. Racism is a real thing. Homophobia is a real thing. The, this is why the quote-unquote left has so much power. In large part, because conservatives, not, not completely, but in large part, because conservatives have consistently over and over and over ignored the plea of the needy they just they just put their heads in the sand and say everything's fine to them if you're prosperous you're righteous and if you're not prosperous that's eh, because of you something you did if you're not prosperous it's kind of a calvinist uh, kind of tradition that america has had almost since its inception this idea that that prosperity equals righteousness and non-prosperity equals unrighteousness which is a very very convenient ideology to have when well it's certainly a very convenient ideology to have for the powerful <laughs> look man and it, 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 it this whole calvinist notion it's 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 it goes back further than the calvinist it's it's an old notion uh, the king, the king becomes the king because, I mean, throughout most of human history, the, the king becomes the king because he, he kills more people on the battlefield. <laughs> His success, hey, kill people. And there wasn't an earthquake. And so, okay, great, that's success. So the king is, that's the legitimization of the king is the success alone. So that's where this, this, this strain comes from, where we fail to recognize the plight of Black America, for instance, that has been systemically discriminated against for most of American history, and we still have the fruit of that systemic discrimination in, in the form of black ghettos, where generations of families have been raised up in an expectation of inferiority. In an expectation of uh, of of no prosperity, of of dependence upon the state, just to barely sustain them, and in that climate, we have conservatives who look at black communities that are suffering, and this is black conservatives do this too, and their response is, and there and there's some truth to what they say. But only some, very, 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 very small truth. When they say blacks uh, who get successful, for instance, who don't go back to their communities and help their communities, that, that is a problem in black communities. And I've, I've heard a lot of blacks on both the left and right speak about that. And then there is uh, the notion that, well, they don't stay married. They have single father, single, single, single mother home families for the most part. So, fathers taken out of the picture. Well, that is true, 
and that is a that's a major problem in black america is is the lack of fathers in their communities but that was created by a systemic racist system welfare where insanely they decided that in order for you to get aid for your children to be able to eat you have to not have a father you can't be married why would you have such a horrible Horrible. By the way, these are Democrats that did this. So, you know, Democrat Party, you own this. You did this. You created a welfare system under Lyndon Baines Johnson in which you just determined that black people can't be married in order for them to basically sustain themselves at a time when their ability to go out and start banks and businesses or, or work in high-profile positions where you're getting tons of money was almost non-existent because systemic racism in the 60s was very, very real across the board. And so they couldn't, they couldn't even build their own communities. And when they did build their own communities, you murdered them. Look at the Tulsa massacre of uh, 1921. You literally murder them when when they actually build successful communities. So, so that's the world that Black America existed in the 60s, and they had this uh, lifeline handed to them by the government, but only under the condition that they don't have families. And so, this is why the quote unquote left has power, because conservatives have just ignored the plea of the needy, because. They look at black communities and they focus on the fact that they're not married. And, and, and then they say, well, they're just lazy. It's basically the, the, their poverty is the proof of, of their unrighteousness. Bootstraps. They just got to pull themselves up by the bootstraps. This is, this is Ben Shapiro's take over and over again. This is why I consider Ben Shapiro to be an actual racist because he actually believes this garbage. So you empower the, the quote unquote left, and I hate calling themselves the left because they don't care about the poors. They have given billionaires the cover that they need to distract you from the real injustices in the land, which is really to do with how the very, very powerful control most aspects of our lives and most of what we think about the world around us was forced into our heads as children and, and young adults before we get to the ages where we can finally start to think for ourselves. By the time we get there, we have so much stuff filled into our heads that, that, that enables and advances the most powerful, that gives legitimacy to the most powerful. And so... When the plea of the needy is not met, the charlatans, the hucksters, the killers, they come along with promises of meeting their injustice, and then they use their the injustices that are to attack everyone for committing the injustice, whether they, they committed the injustice or not. So they use racism as a weapon of war. And so long as conservatives continue to give legitimacy to actual racism, just so that they can defend themselves against the false racism, that's when the false racism continues to be an effective marketing tool for the quote-unquote left. Well, Barack Obama, mother, I'm the president of plowing that ad. So Stephen Crowder says, I don't know where you find this many farmers of color in response to a Biden policy that is going to find so many black farmers to make sure that black farmers get aid. I'm on black. Oh. And this, as I said in this, and I have this comment thread open for a purpose, I don't know where you find this many farmers of color. This is a racist statement to me. This whole segment is disgusting just because the left is using false charges of racism against all political dissent doesn't mean we non-left, and, and I just call myself non-left here because I, I'm not a conservative, but I'm not in the quote-unquote left at all. Uh, I'm not even in the unquote unquote left. I'm an unaffiliated if, if, if when it gets down to it. Uh, although I'm aligned pragmatically with the Bill of Rights because I think the Bill of Rights is a useful construct for we the poors. It is a significant uh, hedge on government power. And even I think that it should be extended. The Bill of Rights should be in the market now as well as the state 
So it could be a hedge against market power too. So I, I don't I don't want him to platform as I said here and and uh, but I did say I hope you conservatives call him out on this actual racism. Look at that picture up there. This is American Gothic with uh, stereotypical, basically the uh, what do you call it? thug black. I don't know. Is that is that is that is that is that what he's trying to commit co communicate here, Steve Crowder? The the whole thug thing, uh, thug black. Is that what this is? I'm not sure, but that 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 image that's that's a racist image to me. I I don't I don't even know. I mean, it's pretty. This is a racist image. I again, I'm not for Stephen Crowder being deplatformed, but but people defending this, defending this actual racism. Well, Barack Obama, mother, I'm the president of plowing that air. This is, this is why the left is defeating you, because you don't want to face the actual problems that are. The left is telling you what the actual problem. Now, never mind that the prescriptions for fixing the actual problems are just as horrifying as the problems themselves. Never mind that. So I'm going to look at these comments here, and th and and this is these are these are conservatives. These are. Well, I'm assuming most of these are conservatives. I think I have a reason to assume that. Uh, Kathy, well, I don't want to say the names. You can see the names. I don't, I don't really care. But uh, if he offended a bunch of snowflakes, I love it. I, 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 I <laughs> what, what do you say to that? If he offended a bunch of snowflakes, I love it. So, so, it, it, Kathy, you're reacting. Oh, said her name. Uh, you're reacting here to just what I'm saying. Because they do use racism as a false charge against a lot of people that just basically because they don't have their views, it's an effective weapon of war that you, you can't even defend yourself with against. I mean, all the all the if if you haven't said anything actually racist, what they'll say is that you're you're a closet racist or a dog whistle or whatever. They'll they'll imply in some way contextually whatever. So then you get uh, another comment here. Racism only exists today in the mind. Only exists today. That's perfect. That's perfect. This is the sentiment that many conservatives have. Racism only exists today in the world minds of the Democrat Party. I don't know where you find this many farmers of color, uh, but they did. Steven Crowder actually said, I don't know where you find this many farmers of color. Folks, that is a racist statement. And, and the defense of Steven Crowder is that he's a comedian. And this is the black conservative perspective. And to his defense, he also said because he says he's a conservative uh, comedian, he doesn't take his political commentary seriously. I would say, listen, even if he didn't say he was a comedian, you shouldn't take his political commentary seriously because Steven Crowder is not interested in in truth in any way, shape or form. He's just as bad as 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 the left. He's a sugar pusher. He's sugar pusher. He pushes sugar on his audience. And the sugar that he pushes is Dems is evil and we is angels and we are going to win. That's sugar pushing. And, and then he's a sugar pusher. He sucks oxygen out of the room of the conservatives. And he's just, he is an effective tool against conservatism. And I don't really think that this man cares one way, shape, or form about politics at all. He is just an opportunist making money, shilling to conservatives, sugar pushing to conservatives. And uh, there we get racist is the magic word leftists use when they want to stop the argument. That's true. But racism is still real. And Steven Crowder said, I don't know where you find this many farmers of color, uh, but they did. I don't know where you find this many farmers of color. An actual racist statement. You, you don't believe that black farmers exist? In a country of 320 million human beings, you don't think that there are hundreds of, at least tens of thousands of black farmers? Are you kidding me? You still believe that? You still think like that, Mr. Steven Crowder? Is that your comedian Crowder or is that your real Crowder? Which which one of you is the racist, Stephen? Is it your comedian only or you? I don't think there's really separation between the comedian. When when you're doing a skit, when you're doing a comedy sketch, uh, 
when you're doing a stand-up performance and you're using racial stereotypes, mostly contextually, I'm 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 fine with uh, racial stereotypes used in comedy. Comedy is always about, uh, well, mostly it's about pressing the boundaries of uh, push pushing into the extremes. <laughs> that's that's uh, that's in large part what it is. It's pushing pushing into the extremes and in in absurd ways, very absurd ways. So I'm I'm for edgy comedy. I'm totally for it. But this isn't comedy. It's not funny. And I mean, that in and of itself is not a reason to say it's not comedy if, if it's a comedy platform. And this is this is blurring the lines between comedy and political commentary to me to, to the point where it's largely this is political commentary. That Steven Crowder, actually a bliss, it actually believes. I don't know where you find this many farmers of color, uh, but they did. That I don't know where you find this many farmers of color is 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 legit i don't think that's a comedy statement i think he believes that well his political i don't know what i don't think stephen crowder really believes anything but i do think that that's that's what he believes is that's the, the sugar that's the sugar that he's pushing he 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 believes that his audience will react well to that statement and so in his mind he believes the conservatives are racist that's what it is stephen crowder actually believes you're racist because he's uh, he's appealing to that sugar. He thinks that 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 racist statements are sugar to conservatives. Now I don't believe that that they are. Uh, well, there's a significant minority that it is for, but and I think that's largely maybe who Crowder serves is the significant minority of of, of racist conservatives. Uh, because if you're listening to that and you think that that's okay, listen, folks. I'm just going to say. As they say, check your heart. If you, especially if you're Christian, check your heart. Uh, racist is the man, when everything is racist, nothing is racist, and and that is to some degree true, and that is kind of what's happening here. Except that, just saying when everything is racist, nothing is racist doesn't mean that racism isn't real. But it does, it does, it does mean that a lot of people, when they see racism right in front of their face. They're not going to call it racist. They're they're just going to to, to miss it uh, or ignore it. And here's another comment: Too much racial prejudice against white people these days. I'm okay with freedom of speech of any kind. Too much wokeness going on these days. If they don't like him, they shouldn't listen to him. Yeah, I'm not for him getting the platform. I will say you shouldn't listen to him just because if you do, your your ears are probably going to eventually want to kill you in your sleep so you should you should think about your your poor ears and the cancer that that guy puts on them uh, and, it, and it isn't just because of I, I don't mean because he's a racist although i mean i don't know what steven i don't think steven crowder is anything steven crowder is an opportunist he is whatever he thinks will will get him what he wants he will be non-racist or racist he he, he has no he has no cares but he's 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 a, he's a oh, <laughs> he's just not a very deep thinker. He's not a nuanced thinker. And like I said, he's a sugar pusher. So you shouldn't listen to Stephen Crowder for your own sake. But I don't want him deep platform. If anybody took offense to what Stephen Crowder said, then they are the problem. There you go. There you go. You you conservatives, you don't think that you're SJWs. You are. You are. There's so many of you that are. And this is an SJW statement. This is what SJW says. Well, if you if you think this, well, then clearly this. And uh, if anybody took offense to what Stephen Crowder said, then they are the problem. So if you dare believe, first off, if you dare believe that that image is racist, this is this is this is what Stephen Crowder is putting up as the blackface of uh, of farming, the blackface of farming. <laughs> And I don't know where you find this many farmers of color. If you don't think that's racist, I'm going to say you're the problem. I'm going to buy, oh. buy a plow, man. <laughs> I'm going to plant that corn. <laughs> Go get a John Deere. Barack Obama, mother. I'm the president of plowing that air. You're, you are why the quote-unquote left is winning. Unless and until human beings, I'm not going to say conservatives, human beings in general, unless until we human beings <laughs> actually try to work to resolve a lot of the injustice in this land, the, the killers will continue to have a voice 
to be able to whip up audiences of hate and fear, hate and fear because of, of well-founded hate and fear, because they're on the receiving end of, of brutal discrimination. So that's why, that's why those sugar pushers, the, the most of the, just like conservative, most in any faction, most of the people at the top are the sugar pushers because most of the people at the bottom just want sugar. That's just human nature on the main. And, and I'm not blaming the people on the bottom, per se. Uh, America, the average IQ is like 100 and, uh, 102, something like that. Not very high. IQ matters. I'm not an IQ elitist. I don't think that just because you have a lower IQ, that means that you're inferior to, to anyone else in any way, shape, or form for that reason alone. I mean, you're not as intelligent, but intelligence isn't necessarily a great quality to have. But it does give you some advantages, like being able to be a little bit more discerning and not being essentially dependent upon the system that you're born in. Most human beings, by and large, will be whatever systems they're born into. They just, just can't help it, especially the more, the more controlling the systems are, the more the human beings that are born into the systems will become those systems, whatever they are. So when everything is racist, nothing is racist. Racist is the magic word leftists use, and they want to stop the argument. Too much racial against, prejudice against white people. If anybody took offense, that's, the, that's to me, the, 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 the big uh, the capper of them all. If anybody took offense to what Stephen Crowder said, then they're the problem. You are the enemy. You are the beast that you're fighting, conservatives. And I'm not talking about all conservatives, because then there's a lot of conservatives, a lot more nuanced views of the world, just like there's progressives that have a lot more nuanced views. There are nuanced SJWs, there are nuanced conservatives, but they're very, very low. So you have a, a society that is filled with human beings that are not able, fundamentally unequipped, to be able to root out their own belief systems, to figure out what they believe, not what others around them have conditioned them to believe. They're just, they're just not capable. And when you have people making apologies and defending, basically, racism, because some other party is using racism unjustly, as, I mean, they're, they're falsely accusing of the of 10 people that they accuse of being racist one is actually a racist but that one racist actually should still be called out and conservatives i'm not saying you should cancel steven crowder i'm saying you should push back at least and say steven listen buddy i mean i i don't when i say this this isn't me i don't we love you buddy but uh yeah, this is racist. You need to correct this. You need to apologize. You need to make amends for this because this really is racist. I want to see that from conservatives. You start doing that amongst your, 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 your peoples, your conservative peoples, and you will continue to disarm the quote-unquote left, the sugar pushers of the left. The sugar pushers of the left, like any other sugar pushers, absolutely rely on people who are afraid of another faction. If they don't have people that are afraid of another faction, they don't have an audience. That's the, the same for all the factions, not just progressives, conservatives, all the factions. You have to have a group of people that are fundamentally afraid of other factions in order for you to build a, a sugar pusher audience. And Stephen Crowder is, is par excellence in the sugar pushing. And so long as you conservatives continue to simply ignore actual racism. I'm on back. I'm gonna buy a plow, man. I'm gonna plant that corn. <laughs> gonna get a John Deere for Barack Obama, mother. I'm the president of plowing that egg. The left has this as a political weapon of war against you. So I don't, I don't, I don't believe that his his epithet, his self epithet of comedian is uh, is really enough to uh, to justify this segment, which, well, is racist. I don't know where you find this many farmers of color, uh, but they did.
I don't know whether Steven Crowder is racist or not, because like I said, I don't think Steven Crowder is a thing. Steven Crowder is just push sugar. I don't know what he actually believes. But I'll say the, the persona, Steven Crowder, that he's chosen to adopt and he's chosen to put himself in to, to, to make that money. That guy's a racist. I don't know where you find this many farmers of color, uh, but they did. This is racist. End stop.